Hey, what is going on guys? Suicide Penguin here, and today I've got a bit of a different video for you. I've got a tips and tricks video for the game The Forest. And uh, these are my mainly used tricks that I use to help me survive as many days as I possibly can. So hopefully you can use them and they can help you too. Okay, so first on the list of tricks is starting at the plane. What you want to do is you only want to eat one tray of the food because the food refills your hunger completely and it also refills most of your stamina bar. Um, you just want to go through the plane grabbing everything else but don't eat the two trays of food because these are going to come in handy later on if you need food. Also, if you if you haven't got a shelter up by the first night and you're worried about the mutants coming attacking you, you can always jump back into the plane. Uh, it takes a little bit. It takes a little bit of time to get back in it sometimes because the way that it crashes. But you can get back in it most of the time. I'm pretty sure every time you crash, you can still get back in it. And this is going to protect you from the mutants. Okay guys, this next trick is a little bit of a bit of a, uh, a cheeky trick. Uh, you, you can actually climb trees in this, but it is a little buggy and if you go too high it can throw you off and it can fling you about everywhere and you can end up dying from it. But it's just a useful little thing that you can use if you're getting chased by the natives or whatever. Um, you can just climb a tree and then if you stay up there long enough eventually they'll, they'll just run away. Uh, it's really easy to do, all you gotta do is walk up to a tree, hold W and then press space while you're touching the tree and then let go of space once you've got to the point that you want to stay at and uh, just keep holding W and you'll stick to the tree. Unfortunately you can't look around while doing this but it's just a nice useful trick. Okay this next one's kind of like a tip on uh, how to kill natives if you've only got molotovs. I mean, it's, it, you can kill them anyway easily but um, this way just makes it a lot easier because they kind of stand still a lot so you can you can get your aim perfect. And uh, basically what you want to do is you want to find like a little rock like this and if you get on top of it, they'll just keep running around you in circles until you attack one of them. And uh, they stay still for quite a long time. So you can just make, you can equip your Molotov and you can, uh, you can throw your Molotov at one of them. And normally you only have to kill about one or two of them and set them on fire. And then the others will just run away. So you just get your Molotovs, throw them at them. And then obviously they die, in, they die practically inst instantly once they're on fire. And as you can see, because I'm on this rock, they can't actually hit me. So now these two run away because I've already killed two of them now. And uh, it's just a nice, useful, useful tip on how to get rid of the natives. Pretty simple. Okay, this one is uh, a lot of people kind of know about this one, but it, just in case you don't, I'm gonna put it in anyway. It's um, when you kill lizards, you can pick up the skin, and obviously the food as well. But what the skin does is it adds armor to you, so you use it as like armor. You get like a little yellow bar at the left of your health bar, and um, Basically, it just makes you it does what armor does. It just makes you a little bit, a little bit more stronger against attacks. And uh, this here, this is mud. When you put mud on, you you can see his arm is all muddy now. And basically, what this does is it's just camouflage, and it makes it so that the uh, the natives and the cannibals can't see you as well. If you get really close to them, they're still gonna notice you, but it just makes it so they don't get alerted so soon. And um, something that I should add: this does wash off. If you walk into water or if it's raining, it will come off, so just be cautious about that. Okay guys, this is how I deal with the natives when I don't have any, like, the flare gun or any molotovs. Basically what you want to do is if you've got a group of them and there's no way of running away from them, like, uh, you've not got any sprint or something, basically what you want to do is you just want to keep circling around them, because if you stand still, if you run straight out the while you're attacking them, as you can see in a minute, uh, in a second here like now uh, they will hit they will land a hit on you but most of the time if you're circling around them like this they can't generally hit you uh, I don't know whether this is gonna get fixed but for now while it's like this this is just a nice simple way of dealing with the cannibals without worrying too much about dying so uh, just keep circling around them and you'll find that they very rarely hit you and it's just a nice easy way Okay, so this is a neat little trick on how to get a lot more out of your sprint. As you can see, I'm not really losing any speed while I'm jumping, but my sprint bar is still refilling itself. What you want to do is, as you're sprinting, you want to jump, and then as you jump, you want to let go of shift, and then as you land, hold shift again, so that your sprint bar refills as you're jumping, but you can get a lot further by doing this. Okay, this one's less of a trick. It's more of like a guide. 
on how to find the modern axe. But I thought I'd add this in because not a lot of people know where it is. Or if you do know where it is, I don't know anyone that knows where it is. I found this. Um, but it seems to always spawn in this same place in the big in the big like camp thing with all the wooden huts. And you can tell you're in the right place because there's a burnt tree in the middle. And also the like the creepy kind of music starts playing. Like the creepy horror music that they've added in. But basically once you're in this camp, you want to look for... You want to look for the crossed, there's two, there's tables all around, but you want to look for two crossed tables like this one that, that's in front of me right now. And if you look around it, you'll see the icon for the axe. It'll be, it'll be stuck in the ground and you just pick it up and that is the best axe in the game up to now. I don't know whether it cuts trees down faster. I've not, I've, I can't tell with trees, but it definitely does more damage to the mutants. You can kill them in only a few hits with this, whereas the other axes aren't really that good. It just makes a nice alternative than having to go down to the cave and get the rusty axe. Okay guys, this is like a little trick that I like to do when maybe I may have came a base or I'm just tabbed out or something. Uh, what you want to do is you want to build like little fire pits in your doorways because there's no doors yet. You're kind of vulnerable when you've got doorways. So build little fire pits in the, in each doorway, light them and then once they're lit, if any cannibal tries to walk through them, it's going to set them on fire um, and it's going to kill them. So this is just a really handy tip. If you wanna, if you wanna make sure your base is completely secure. Uh, also, the fire at the moment doesn't actually damage you. It gets rid of your armor. If you've got armor on, it will get rid of your armor, as you'll see in a second when I walk through this fire. But it doesn't actually damage your health bar at all up to now. Um, there is an alternative way of getting back in. You can do the uh, the tree climbing trick, and you can jump up if you don't want to lose your armor. But this is just a nice handy handy method of keeping cannibals at your base. Okay guys, we're getting to the end of the video now. This is the last clip that I've got. And it's not really a tip or a trick. It's just something that I found. Uh, basically, if you take a stick into your hand and you start hitting the rocks on the floor, uh, you get little rocks that pop out. And sometimes you can get the coins that you find in the caves on, on the beach. Um, I don't really know what this is. Maybe it's something to do with them adding in mine, like an aspect of mining into the game. But I'm not too sure, guys. Uh, I'll If I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. But... Uh, yeah, this is this is coming to the end of the video now. I want to thank you all for watching. If you watched to the end, uh, if like the video, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, dislike it. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Right, so now I've got this. No, no, so let's just play this one. Get some footage. I'll be recording. Yeah. You'll see what I mean.